successful introduction in the 2007 model year, the 2008 Silverado continues to emphasize Chevrolet's ability to provide the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. The fact that the 2007 Silverado was named the Motor Trend Truck of the Year and the North American Truck of the Year further adds to the positive halo surrounding Chevrolet. The 2007 model year saw a complete turnover for the Silverado nameplate with totally revamped versions of the half-ton 1500 as well as the heavy-duty models 2500 HD and 3500 HD. Here is the model lineup for 2008. The Silverado 1500 will appear in work truck, LS, LT and LTZ versions. The 2500 HD and 3500 HD appear in work truck, LT and LTZ trim levels. Here are the major changes to be aware of for 2008. First, there are two new exterior colors, dark cherry metallic and deep ruby metallic. The integrated trailer brake controller, available on the heavy duty models last year, will now make it to the light duty Silverado. There's a new high idle switch used on 2500 HD and 3500 HD models. This is not a separate switch, but uses the cruise control switches to activate and is displayed in the driver information center. Next, XM satellite radio is now standard on all models. And finally, the 3500 HD gets 17 inch tires and wheels on dual rear wheel versions. A note about this new dually wheel. For LT and LTZ models, the wheel will have full chrome skin and cap. The WT will have a painted steel wheel and painted cap. The bottom line is that Silverado will provide the light truck market with the absolute best portfolio of products, ranging from economical commercial work trucks all the way to luxurious LTZ models. Silverado meets the needs of this diverse market better than any other competitor. Also, the competition in this segment is getting fiercer all the time. With the introduction from Toyota of their full-size Tundra pickup, you've got to be ready to counter information from another competitor. Be sure to review the Silverado pocket piece you've recently received at your dealership to be sure you're up to date on countering the claims that have been coming from the Tundra camp. Silverado enters the 2008 model year with a full range of powertrains that emphasizes technology and efficiency. In these days of high gas prices, alternative fuels, and demand for fuel efficiency, Silverado meets the challenge with technologies that include flex fuel, biodiesel, and active fuel management, just to name a few. The lineup of engines is formidable across the 1500, 2500 HD and 3500 HD model lineup. In the case of the 1500, the Vortec 4.3 liter V6 is available in the 1500 regular and two-wheel drive extended cab models. The Vortec 4.8 liter SFI V8 engine is available in the 1500 regular, extended and crew cab models. The Vortec 5.3 liter V8 SFI engine with active fuel management is a standard or optional engine on several Silverado 1500s. The engine may be an iron or aluminum block depending on cab style, but regardless of the block material, the horsepower and torque do not change. There is also a Vortec 5.3 liter V8 SFI engine with flex fuel and active fuel management. It too is available in iron or aluminum block versions depending on the cab style. For the highest in performance on a Silverado 1500, there is a Vortec 6 liter with variable valve timing and active fuel management. This engine is available on Silverado LT and LTZ models with two or four wheel drive in extended and crew cab configurations. All 1500 models are equipped with a four speed automatic transmission. The Vortec 6-liter engine uses a heavy-duty 4L70 automatic transmission. All other applications receive the 4L60. When it comes to the 2500 HD and 3500 HD models, the Vortec 6-liter continues to be the workhorse engine for the heavy-duty lineup. Optional on HD models is the Duramax turbo diesel. This incredible engine continues to be the benchmark diesel in the light truck market, touting best-in-class horsepower and torque. 
it is important to remember that this engine is biodiesel compatible. All HD models of Silverado receive a six-speed automatic transmission. With the Vortex 6 liter, the transmission is the Hydromatic 6L90. When it comes to the Duramax, the transmission is the Allison 6-speed automatic. Both transmissions feature wide overall gear ratios with two overdrive gears for excellent balance of performance and fuel economy. In addition, there is tap up and tap down shifting for manual control when desired and tow haul mode for improved towing and heavy load hauling performance. Both transmissions provide drivers with an incredible feeling of smooth shifting, excellent vehicle performance and a high level of confidence, especially when towing. When it comes to driveline features, Silverado has a lot going for it, especially when our truck is compared to competing models. For example, an available locking rear differential. Our competitors typically use either a limited slip rear differential or, in some cases, an open differential with brake activation to force power to the wheel with traction. Silverado's G80 locking differential is more efficient than either method used by our competitors because power is provided directly to both rear wheels when traction is compromised. The final feature to note in this segment is the available integrated trailer brake controller. In 2007, it was available only on heavy duty models. For 2008, it's been added as an option for the 1500, a segment exclusive for light duty trucks. This factory installed device is incorporated into the truck's brake and electrical system, negating the need for an aftermarket controller. During operation, it provides immediate and measured brake force, signaling to the electronically controlled trailer brakes. Like aftermarket systems, it is fully adjustable, but unlike aftermarket systems, it's fully integrated with Silverado's standard four-wheel ABS system. Silverado frame and suspension underwent major changes during the truck's 2007 redesign. When it comes to the 1500, the frame is fully boxed and is actually 230% torsionally stiffer than Silverado Classic. Up front, the frame is hydroformed and the box design then extends the entire length of the frame. The result is minimal welds and a strong, efficient frame. Up front, there's a coil over shock independent front suspension. At the rear, there is a leaf spring suspension. However, the layout of the gas charge shock absorbers is splayed to provide improved suspension movement that enhances control during operation on rough surfaces. There are five different suspension choices. The first is the Z83 solid smooth ride suspension that's standard on the work truck. The Z85 handling and trailering suspension is available on WT and standard on LT and LTZ. The Z71 off-road suspension is available on LT and LTZ and is available on both two and four wheel drive. The Z60 is a high performance suspension and is available on LT and LTZ models except on regular and extended cabs with the long box. Finally, there's the NHT Vortec Max trailering suspension that's available on LT and LTZ models with extended cab with standard box and crew cabs only. An efficient rack and pinion steering system provides nimble control as well as quick response during driving maneuvers. The 2500 HD and 3500 HD models are equipped with a ladder frame, hydroformed up front and with C-channel center and rear sections. Up front, there's an independent front suspension that uses torsion bar type springs. In the rear, there's a multi-leaf suspension. On the 2500 HD, there are two stage springs and on a 3500 HD, there are three stage springs. The standard suspension is the Z85 heavy duty trailering suspension. The Z71 off-road suspension and its related equipment and graphics package is an option on LT and LTZ. Steering on the HD models is through a heavy-duty design recirculating ball steering gear. All HD models are equipped with four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. Also, all Silverado 1500 crew cab models have standard Stabilitrack with proactive roll avoidance, 
providing a high level of performance and safety as it helps the driver to maintain control and keep the vehicle in its desired path. The system is optional on extended cab models with the standard box. When it comes to wheels and tires, there is a significant selection that allows the truck to be set up for the desired use as well as to personalize it for the owner. On the half ton 1500 models, there are 17 inch, 18 inch, and 20 inch wheels and tires. Keep in mind that wheels and tires are package driven and often can be upgraded. On the 2500 HD and 3500 HD, 16 inch or 17 inch wheels and tires are used. All HD wheels have eight lugs. These are in a variety of configurations, including steel and aluminum, as well as in single rear wheel or dual rear wheel setups. Also, be aware that there is a new 17-inch dually tire and wheel combination for the 2008 3500 HD. This replaces last year's 16-inch version. The LT and LTZ duallys will have full chrome skins and chrome center caps, while WT versions will have painted steel wheels with painted center caps. Be sure to review your order guide and vehicle catalogs for specific tire and wheel information. Comfort and convenience start at the exterior, which on the 2008 Silverado is rugged and capable. Immediately noticeable is the differentiation between the models. It's very easy to tell the difference between light duty and heavy duty pickups, as well as between Silverado's SUV siblings. Note that the windshield is steeply raked into a smooth flowing roof line. This contributes to Silverado's clean lines as well as excellent fuel economy and minimal wind noise. From the front, notice the strong, confident front end. Silverado's look on both light duty and heavy duty models is accentuated with a large Chevy bow tie in the grill, muscular fender flares, a prominent power dome hood, and jewel-like stacked headlamps that are pushed outboard to reinforce the strong stance. The cargo boxes are totally new and come in three different lengths. Note the gaps between the box and cab are tighter to improve aerodynamics. The cargo box is deeper and there's excellent cargo carrying capacity with more than four feet of width between the wheelhouses and more than five feet between the box sides. Be sure to become familiar with the available cargo management system because it significantly increases the capabilities of the truck as well as providing the opportunity to accessorize the truck with toolboxes, cargo divider, overhead rack system, and ladder carrier, and other accessories. Moving to the entry points of the Silverado, it's important to note the wide opening rear access doors. These doors open to 170 degrees for the easy entrance of people into the rear seat on extended cabs or to make it easier to put materials on the floor of the truck. While at the rear door, look into the rear of the vehicle and note the stadium style rear seating. This type of seat is not only comfortable to passengers, but when it's in its up position, leaves a flat load floor without any seat mechanicals to get in the way of items being placed in the truck. Once inside, settle into the driver's seat and there's an expansive look and feel combined with excellent visibility. This is the result of an instrument panel that sits low and curves away from the driver and passenger. On the instrument panel, note the driver information center. Here the driver will find a high level of information through a comprehensive array of alerts and a large display window. There are two different interiors, work truck and LT, have the pure pickup look with a cockpit design that includes dual glove boxes. The luxury interior used for the LTZ shares the same design theme as the Chevy full-size SUVs. The seats were redesigned for the 2007 introduction and feature firm foam cushions and supportive bolsters. Silverado has a significant number of seating choices in a variety of materials that include vinyl, cloth and leather inserts. In addition, power options for the driver and front passenger seats are extensive, ranging from mechanical adjustment all the way to LTZ's 10-way power front bucket driver and front passenger seats with power lumbar, two-position memory, and heated cushions and backs. Silverado features best-in-class storage. 
All models have exceptional storage capabilities, with the largest found on the 2LT and LTZ bucket seat models. This console has over 20 liters of storage and also features an auxiliary power outlet inside and cup holders that can be placed in two different positions or removed altogether. When it comes to your customer's listening pleasure, there are five audio systems to select from. All of them feature an upscale appearance and enhanced capabilities. Two of the audio systems feature integrated touchscreen navigation. Of particular importance during vehicle delivery is to stress the capabilities of these systems and to provide instruction in their general use. Also, don't forget that XM Satellite Radio, with the first three months free, is now a standard feature on all 2008 Silverados. Another factor concerning the audio and entertainment systems is that the DVD radios with the rear seat entertainment system provide DVD loading in the center stack rather than as part of the screen unit, allowing increased parental control. Many Silverado owners don't stop with the purchase of their new vehicle. They want to truly make it theirs through accessories. Chevrolet has a full lineup of high value accessories that you need to bring to the attention of new owners as part of the sales process. Check for even more detailed information in the GM Order Guide and Chevy.com. There are many more features and capabilities provided by the new Silverado. Be sure to review the vehicle brochure and the order guide for more information.